गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल स्टार्ट योर फोर्थ चैप्टर अंकल पोजर्स लिव्स फॉर वर्क बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस स्टोरी लेट अस नो अबाउट द राइटर ऑफ दिस स्टोरी मिस्टर जोरम क्लब का जोरम ही वाज बोर्न इन सेकेंड मे एटीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी नाइन ही वाज एन इंग्लिश राइटर ही हैज बीन ए वेरी रेपुटेड नेम एमोंग द चिल्ड्रेन because of his humorous very amusing and entertaining novels the best known novel is three men in a boat the book became an instant hit and has remained in print since he wrote several other novels plays and essays after this but none of these proved to be as popular as the first work like your three men in a boat the three men on a bimel was a sequel to this the three men on a boat jerem died on 14th june 1927 so now let us start the chapter you know you know we all get delayed for various reasons like we are indians you know the programs which we plan to start at perfect time we always be delayed it is because we don't value for the time we always make an excuse for which we are delayed this story is an extract from the story Three men on a bimel. Bimel is a German word which means journey without an end. It means the title is Three Men on the Journey Without End. This novel tells us about the three friends who decided to go on cycling holidays to Germany. But let us go through the story. अंकल पोजर्स लिव्स फॉर वर्क दिस स्टोरी रिवॉल्व्स अराउंड द कैरेक्टर ऑफ अवर द मेन हीरो ऑफ द स्टोरी अंकल पोजर ही इज क्वाइट फनी पर्सन ही ऑलवेज गेट्स लेट एवरी डे फॉर हिज केयरलेस एंड सिल्ली एक्शंस एंड फॉर दैट ही ऑलवेज ब्लेम्ड टू अदर्स इन द हाउस by this way we also get late for several reasons sometimes the reasons are valid and sometimes we are fault for causing the delay means we are responsible for ourselves only by this character mr uncle poger the narrator wants to suggest that it is the human behavior to not to accept their own fault and blames other for that for that reasons but this character uncle poger author wants to entertain the readers let us go through the story as narrator is one of the family's member he tells in the first paragraph the distance between the railway station and mr uncle poger's house is only 8 minutes of walking distance and his uncle always says that to keep 15 minutes in hand so that you reach the station easily on time but he does the opposite of what he said he does not keep his own words he always start his 5 minutes before the time and run to the station but not only he many of the people of his area suburb has the same habit to be started late and runs toward the station with a black bag one hand in a, a newspaper in one hand and umbrella in other and this is a common habit for the people of his area and they all started running either they 
may wet in rain or dry but all they do for the last quarter of a mile to reach the station now the second paragraph the people who have nothing to do gather on a public place and they watch the other people running to their work toward the station and all these things looking very funny they also cheered the deserving runners who runs very fast but it was not a showy spectacle means they all run with a sincerity because they have to reach to their destination or to the job so they are running for any kind they are not running for any kind of competition they did not run well and even they don't run fast for but they f- give their full energy to reach the station as fast as they could so they are not uh, any kind of athlete but give their best to become sincere to reach the station at time now let us go to the second paragraph in this paragraph the narrator says uncle pojar never blame himself for getting late it was not that his uncle did not rise in time but the travel comes came to him in the last moment when he was ready to go out from the home the very thing he do is that he lose his newspaper after the breakfast mostly mostly in every days and everybody in the house sees his surprised anger but for this he never blame himself that he is a careless person he mostly forgot the things where he had put anything <coughs> and he is not getting those things at time and creating a disturbance in the house making such kind of nonsense activity and blames to others for this and convinced himself that it was not his fault but it was somebody's others fault in the house now the next paragraph now uncle pojars confidently say that he had the newspaper in his hand few minutes ago and now he is simply blaming others that somebody from the house has intentionally taken away his newspaper rapidly and secretly and wants to irritate or disturb him at that time of leaving to the station but his wife would suggest him that he might had left the newspaper in the garden and uncle replied to his wife angrily why should he left the paper in the garden because he did not read the paper in the garden but he needs to read it in the train in the meantime somebody out of the family members came inside to hand over the paper to uncle pojar then he snatched the paper and sent in said in a angry way to leave his things alone he would take away his newspaper violently and looked at it continuously without uttering a single word and he became silent being looked silent his aunt would ask mr pojar what's the matter what's what's your what's wrong with you answer to this he said it only happened with him while saying this bit he threw his newspaper upon the table very angrily eventually he would get it by somebody from the family sometimes he was seated on the paper and like this he dramatized and then pretended to smile he and he would also pride on himself control after settling this matters when he start for the hall aunt maria would have called all the children gathered there and they all say goodbye to mr uncle pojar it was like the custom of their house
but at the last moment they would find that somebody was missing and now to find that missing one everyone in the house there would scattered with a loud joy making noises and lots of excitement and in the house so this much for the day i will send the next part in my next video till then be safe be at home goodbye have a nice day